What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And in the last few days we have gotten a lot of info about the game revolving around single player, uh, spec ops mode, all that kind of good stuff. And today I want to really talk about something that I know has kind of made the community upset revolving around spec ops mode. But before I do that, if you have not seen the campaign trailer, I will link it down in the description below. Check that out. I would have made a video just showing the campaign trailer, but Activision gets kind of finicky about who shows that and who who can't, so you kind of get in trouble on YouTube with some of that stuff sometime. But that campaign trailer, just the cutscenes that it shows are absolutely amazing for to be a Call of Duty game, in my opinion. The graphics look phenomenal. But, of course, they did talk about everything that's going to be coming to multiplayer, to single player, to Spec Ops. It's all going to be on all platforms, all at the same time, except for one thing. PlayStation 4 is going to get survival mode for Spec Ops, which they, Activision and Infinity Wars, that it's just a small portion of Spec Ops. But the survival mode will be only on PS4 for a year. And they said it will not be available for Xbox or PC until October of 2020. Now, I feel this is way too extreme. I feel that exclusive content to any platform is an old habit, an old process that should have been done away with a long time ago. There are tons of games that do it. Uh, and Call of Duty has done it either, you know, years ago when I played on Xbox 360, you know, they got the maps first. And then it went to PlayStation getting the multiplayer maps first. Well, now they've kind of done away with that. And I thought that was going to be a great thing. You know, everybody was going to get the maps first. Everybody was going to get, you know, all of this stuff at the same time, whether you're on Xbox, whether you're on PC, whether you're on PS4. And the whole cross-platform uh, idea, I was thinking, well, they're going to have to give everybody the same thing. That way everybody can play together. Well, that's not going to be the case, like I said, for survival mode. Now, everything else will spec ops. Xbox, PC, and PS4 will get at the same time. But the survival mode will be a year uh, kind of a delay for the other two platforms. I, I feel if they were going to do this, and like I said, I don't think they should have at all, but if they were going to do this, a month would have been plenty. I think PS4 should have got it for a month, and then Xbox and PC, you know, could not, uh, you know, get it for that month. I, I don't know if this was the, their deal, but they said it, because they said everything else was going to come to everyone at the same time. So I don't know if this was the deal they had to make to get all the content for everyone else at the same time. I'm not sure. But I really do wish all games would get rid of this thought process. I don't think, if you pay for a game, I don't think you should be able to not get some content that other uh, platforms get. So I think this should be done away with all, in all games. And everybody, if you pay full price, you should get all the content that is in, uh, involved with that game. Now, I know this has caused a lot of controversy within the community, and I can understand why, because I do not like this process or this idea either. Um... And it's just odd to me because, as you guys know, Sledgehammer is not a thing anymore. So next, the next Call of Duty title we will get, you know, after Modern Warfare will be another Black Ops game. This is going to be coming out, or the Spec Ops, you know, they announced will be coming out in October for uh, Xbox and PC. But by that time, it's already going to be uh, going into that next Black Ops title. So I, I feel that it's, I don't know, I, I feel that that's just a way too long of a wait. But... Anyway, this is kind of my thoughts on it. Leave me your comments down in the comment section below and leave me your thoughts about it as well. But besides that, I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think about uh, the Spec Ops just kind of in general, the uh, campaign in general, the, the multiplayer, all the announcements that we're getting. Are you looking forward to trying all these different things out within the game? Because it all is kind of coming to you know coming together now and it's starting to look very interesting on all different uh all, or all the different ways you can play the game. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.